Crest Awards started in 1986 and were introduced to allow students to gain recognition for their own investigations in science. One of the great things about Crest is it allows students to choose their own projects and ideas and totally get completely consumed in something that really, really interests them. There's no right or wrong answer to the project. So that means that they can let their imaginations run riot and they really enjoy that. It allows students to be completely individual. It's really, really important that the students are doing something that they're interested in. Crest features over 30,000 students every year, allowing them to gain recognition for their work in science. One of the really special things about Crest Awards is the creativity that's in Involved. So for students, they can choose any topic they like for their project. There's no set rules about exactly how they have to do it. Those students that take part in Crest Awards, there's a marked improvement on their exam results. <laughs> I think there's a lot of social benefits to doing Crest Awards. So many of our students get to work with people from other year groups or other classes and they make such wonderful friendships. There are three main aims for the Crest Awards. Firstly, the students gain knowledge and understanding about science. Secondly, that they gain transferable skills. And thirdly, taking part in Crest Awards can improve students' attitudes towards science and ultimately raise the value that they place on it. Using the Crest Award to explore science in a real-world context allows a student to link together lots of ideas that they wouldn't normally think about. Really, really nice sometimes to take a step back and to actually watch how they interact with people from industry, people that bring in expertise that maybe we can't offer them. And also it helps them to look outside the classroom at things that they're interested in. We've even had students at the end of doing their A-levels that have gone off to university and shown their Crest certificates as a way of making themselves just stand out from other people. So I think one of the things that sets Crest aside from other projects is the flexibility. They can work on their own, they can work in groups, they can do Crest Awards in one day, they can do a Crest Award that might take them a year. So it really can be as much or as little as a student wants and I think that is fantastic. It's really interesting to see what your students are learning without you sort of hanging over their shoulders. You see them working in a different way so it really helps to foster relationships between students and teachers. I think it's really important that students can see that the teachers don't have all the answers and we don't know everything and we're, we're lifelong learners and we get excited by new discoveries. The actual Crest Award has managed to provide us with a platform to get the teachers from the whole school involved. It couldn't be easier to get started running Crest Awards at your school. We have a website with a bank of resources and also information about registering your students for the award. It doesn't have to be too much hard work for a teacher. The, the, you know, once it gets up and running, the students will, will take over. And, uh, yeah, and it will be really, really rewarding. Look around you for inspiration because there are lots of different ways you can use it. Don't think that you just have to do one project. Every school that I've taught in, I, I've tried to involve students in the Crest Award and I'm hoping that it will be a part of me still when I'm teaching in 30 or 40 years time. I know from my own experience of learning at school, the most memorable experiences are those that place learning in context. And that is why I believe in Crest Awards and the impact it can have on students' learning. <laughs>